adding light spill to a subject will really help your subjects to feel like they're in the scene. I have added light spill with the action right here on the elephant. So you can see this is with the light spill and this is without the light spill. So there's a fair difference there and it's all just the click of a button to make this happen. Let's start with the elephant right here. So you need to click on your layer. It can either be a layer with a mask or it can be a layer that is already pre-cut out. Click on Light Spill Magic and hit play. Straight away it says the light spill is complete. Now, if you want to paint some of the light off, very easy. You just need to get your brush and paint the areas that you don't want the light spill to be. So maybe down near the feet and there's a little bit too much on the trunk there. But apart from that, that looks fantastic. So we turn the light spill off, turn it on. You can see the light from behind is coming around the elephant there. Let's do that now to our other elephant who already has all of the other effects added to it. So if you've been going through the other actions and you've already got all of those effects there, this is what happens. So clicking on baby elephant, this already has the shading, the rim light and the color toning. So if we do it to this one, press play, you will see it come up. Create Clippy Mask is not currently available. That's fine. Press continue. It will still work. The only reason that's showing up is because you already have other items clipped to your layer. So press continue. Your light spill is complete. So paint off the areas you don't want. Again, a little bit around the trunk there. So just paint off the areas where there's a bit too much light spill. And there you have it. So turning it off turning it on. So that is the light spill magic action that will make it much quicker for you to add some extra light spill.